Hello and welcome to the first official episode of History Mysteries. Today we are going to be talking about a rather interesting disease and illness. It is medically known as encephalitis lethargica, but many people who have heard of this probably know it more so as the sleeping sickness or living statues. Basically, from 1917 to 1928, half a million people were afflicted with the ghastly condition that could be part of the plotline of a horror film. And there is actually a movie based off of this whole disease. It is called Awakening, and it's really good. It's got Robert De Niro in it, I think. Yeah, no, it does. It's got Robert De Niro and other people. Uh, it's the only one I know of. I watched it in uh, my psychology class last year, actually. It's really good. I do recommend it. I'm not sponsored by it. very much alive and conscious, found themselves in inexplicably frozen states, their static bodies freezing over their minds. So, essentially, what this sleeping sickness is, based on the research that I was doing yesterday, is it's like a coma, but your eyes are open, and like they know you're alive. And that, I mean that by they are conscious, they're awake, they know what's going on, but they can't really do anything. For the most part, they would be totally motionless. It's almost, it's almost like sleep paralysis, but instead of just for the night, it's for your life. As someone who has had sleep paralysis a few times, I don't want to live with that. It would be absolutely horrible because you can't really do much. Now, you can sometimes move a little bit, or like you can talk a bit, or like move your eyes a little bit, maybe even some laughter. But for the most part, you can't really interact with the world around you. But you're still aware of what's going on. So, like someone. Let's say someone was, let's say you're bedridden and someone's talking to you. You know what they're saying. You know how to respond, but you can't. And that's what I, and that's what I mean by, it's kind of like sleep paralysis in a way, where you're awake, but you can't do anything except like move your eyes around. At least my experiences with sleep paralysis have been like that. Now is lethargica, and it's a neurological syndrome that spread across Europe and then the world beginning the winter of 1916 and 1917, then continuing into the 30s. It has also popped up a few times sporadically. Uh, it was in the 50s in Europe. Uh, it was even in China like 10 years or so. So the what kind of makes this a mystery is we don't know what causes and we don't really have a cure. We have some things that kind of work, but there isn't like a steadfast cure that says, yes, this will help you. It's just like, it could help you, it could not. You'll just have to see. And it's, yeah, uh, there's, a, there's a few other questions. They're like, how is it caused? How is it transmitted? Could this be an epidemic again? Because it was actually an epidemic at one point. But between um, 1917 and 1927, an estimated 5 million people contracted the illness, and one third of them died. Uh, survivors displayed what is known as the post encephalitis Parkinson's disease, and for decades they were just frozen like statues. Uh, El Dopo was considered to be a miracle cure for Parkinson's, and it did work, but within months they were overwhelmed with tics, tics and bad behavior, which are Elizabeth's side effects. And when 
taken up the drug patients just went back to being living statues. People don't really know what the cause is. There is a theory that it's brain inflammation triggered by a rare strain of streptococcus, which is the bacteria responsible for strep throat every year. And science's best guess is that the bacteria mutated, provoking the immune system to attack the brain, leaving the victim helpless. But none of this explains why the illness disappeared and then only to resurface. It's um, it's a very interesting thing. I actually had a lot of fun researching this yesterday because there's so much about it that we do know. But it's almost it's almost like one of those things where the more answers we think we have, the more questions pop up that we can't find the answer to. If you did enjoy, I do suggest to click that like button, hit subscribe, and feel free to leave a comment on it if you have any other interesting cases or you just want to leave a comment on this. If you have any other facts or any other interesting stories you would like to put, you can put that here as well. All of our social medias for the group channel and also my personal will always be linked in the description along with any descriptions on any of our channel, uh, any of the videos on here. I actually will be uploading a video tomorrow for. I've taken like a month break just because stuff came up and then other stuff came up and didn't really feel like the right time. But I do hope that you enjoyed this and I hope that you will enjoy uh, Friday's group video as well. I'm playing out right now.